Embryonic stem cells can become heart, blood, brain or skin cells depending on the way they are grown. These stem cells have turned into heart cells. Stem cells are already useful in medicine. One skin stem cell alone can produce enough specialised skin cells to cover the whole body. This produced a breakthrough in the treatment of extensive burns. When a person is heavily burned, what we do, we take a sample from an unburn area, and this skin sample, uh, we take it apart, and we get the cells out of it, and we feed the cells with a special liquid, which is full of protein and sugars, you know, they need to, to eat, like you. And uh, at some point, these cells will divide, will multiply, and they will cover the entire uh, bottom of the flask. Uh, we uh, remove these cells using a special chemical, and we uh, get uh, this uh, sheet of cells into the uh, surgery room, and we transplant the patient with it. To put the problem very clearly, you destroy human life in order to save human lives. You cannot deny that you destroy the blastocyst. So in a sense, you destroy a potential human life. What we have to do is isolate these cells. One way is we can remove the trophectoderm cells so that we're just left with a clean inner cell mass. So we can grow these in culture and they'll grow multiply until we have large numbers of these cells that still have the capacity, are still able to form any tissue at all. I have Parkinson's disease and that may one day be treatable by the applications of stem cell research. We would pay a price of working on some human embryos but the benefit would come back in the treatment of society itself. But there's always a cost. But what captured my imagination was when I realised that in development, cells actually have to make choices and decide to become different types of cell. And understanding how that is controlled, how that decision is made. If you could understand that, it seems to me, then you would really understand the most important thing about life.